My name is Brandon Hubbard. I am uh, the superintendent in Chilton ISD. Uh, we're a small uh, 2A, one campus district. We are K-12. Uh, we're K-12, uh, one campus. Um, we separate it by buildings, uh, pre-K-3 through fifth grade and one, and then uh, sixth grade through twelfth grade um, in the secondary building. This year, uh, we started the year with about 540 students. We have approximately 85 staff in all. Uh, that's total staff, uh, but we have about 40 uh, teachers and interventionists uh, uh, working on our campus. With the evolution of our accountability system, uh, the A through F, the changes in the domains, um, I really wanted our teachers um, and staff to have a concrete means of seeing those changes in the accountability system. Uh, so uh, we partnered uh, with Region 12 and got some leading, leadership and guidance and we developed and built uh, the Chilton ISD data room. Before it was a data room, uh, it was a storage room. Um, it's been an office. Uh, it's been a uh, hide everything that we don't use anymore room. Uh, and so we thought that we could make the space a little bit more valuable uh, by moving that stuff out and, and uh, using it to evaluate student data. There, there are several people responsible for the data in this room. Um, we have a group of what we call mentor teachers um, who are trained to uh, lead PLCs. Um, grade levels and in core content areas. So they bear uh, responsibility for this room in addition to uh, the secondary elementary principals, uh, the counselor, uh, and myself, uh, uh, the superintendent. Uh, so ultimately, um, I've taken the responsibility since this is new to us to make sure that the room is updated and, and the data uh, is, is alive uh, and fluid and dynamic, uh, that it's just not a room with pretty charts and pretty pictures, uh, that we're actually using it. I would recommend, um, especially a district my size or a campus, uh, to begin with the more holistic approach to the data room. Uh, begin with something that you can manage uh, because if, you know, if it's overwhelming, um, if it's uh, too burdensome, then it will probably just become another room that collects dust. Once you become proficient uh, at your current level, then you can always grow uh, and become more involved and, and start peeling down more into uh, the student level data. It's, it's what I consider a safe room. It's a room where teachers can come in, uh, we can talk about data, we can talk about performance data, we can talk about uh, places we want to improve um, in, in a way that's not judgmental, not vindictive, but just um, a way of us to talk about where we are and where we want to be. Uh, one of the things that's important in this room is that we always talk about the power of yet. Uh, we are safe to talk about where we are performing, uh, safe to talk about where we need to improve, but we all always end with the power of yet. This is where we are, uh, we're not where we want to be yet, and that's completely okay because we know where we want to be. It's just a matter of us keeping abreast of our data and, and you know, what's going to become a data point in the near future for us. The room is arranged uh, by domain. Each of the three magnetic whiteboards uh, represents a domain. Um, you have a lot of posters. The big charts typically represents overall uh, performance. Uh, you'll see a lot of the blue folders uh, around the room and that represents student level data uh, that we just prefer to keep, I guess, out of sight. The system is big, but we have to make sure uh, that we, we uh, get down to student level data so we can make sure that we know where each student is in this in this robust system. Uh, the blue sticky notes are uh, places where teachers can come in and if they have a question about something or a question about certain data or how it relates to the domain then they can place the sticky on the whiteboard 
and then during our PLC and our meeting time, uh, we try to address uh, each of those questions. We want every teacher, uh, whether it's a core subject, a non-core subject, to understand where they fit in with the accountability system. Our theme for this year um, as a district has been challenge, support, grow. Um, that's, that's the theme that we use from the beginning. And so I think this room uh, allows us to provide the challenge uh, to look at the numbers and see where our challenges are, uh, to challenge ourselves to get better, but it also provides us the opportunity to provide the support that our teachers and students need in order to get to the performance level that we want to be at.